Hey, you welcome to another episode of Investment Chat with Stephen Akindam. I know you didn't expect this question coming. <laughs> okay. What is the investment you're making on your skin? <laughs> <laughs> This 10 million that I've just been paid yes. for this show. Yes. Ah, let, let me, me see. Buy a land. Let, let me, you know. Let me see if I can multiply it. Mm-hmm. I want to say a big thank you for coming on the investment chat in the Rolls Royce with Stephen Akintyre. Such a great thank, honor. thank you for coming. Do you know that the uh, coach stripe on Rolls Royce is usually done by Marcotte? Um, sing- and that's his only job. Um, even the, the, the leather is hand stitched by individuals to perfection. Um, the question is how have you paid attention to investment details? you know that got you to where you are today the lesson from the man called my mm. i mean is the lesson of consistency mm. and to a very great extent i think that is a missing link mm. in the generation we have today mm. where many people are not consistent about the assignment that they have been called into mm. for me I mean, in the last over a decade, mm. I have been consistent with what I've been doing, mm-hmm. which is real estate yes. and investing in yeah. real estate. Yeah. And um, it may not have paid off at the earlier, the, yeah, the beginning, I mean, at the inception. Yeah. But um, over time, mm-hmm. I mean, paying attention to it. Between a Rolls Royce, a Bentley, and a Ferrari, which one do you prefer? I would, um, I would do a Rolls Royce. Why? Why? <laughs> well, I mean, the feeling first, yeah, being in it, yeah. I call it an asset, not a liability. Okay. I mean, the basic um, definition of what an asset is, yeah. what brings in money. Yes. And um, liability, what takes money away. Yes. I mean, from what I've seen, yeah. I can own a Rolls Royce yeah. that is not only for me. Okay. I mean, it could generate income. Income, that's true. People rent it for weddings, for yes. video shoots. Perfect. And, and, and you, um, you, you do a Ferrari. A Ferrari is most times is just for you, your wife. Yeah. And it's mostly for sports. Sports, yeah, that's true. So and um, How about yeah. Bentley. Bentley, yeah, Bentley is not bad. Yeah. But um, when you talk about class, yeah. finesse, and um, keep yeah. your mouth shut. Oh God, get oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Your story is remarkable. And the last time you told me you sold $1.5 billion worth of real estate in this country. How did you do that? When you look at the strength it takes you mm. to go into doing something ridiculous, yes. something illegal. Il- yeah. It's the same kind of energy. In fact, you spend yeah. less energy, energy to do to a legal, do illegal thing. Yeah. And which will put your name yeah. on the sound of time True. that you will never be forgotten. True. Now, consistently, um, going by what God told me at the time, and he said, when you stop raising people, mm. you will soon be erased. Mm. So, Powerful. one key link that has worked for me yeah. is the ability to keep raising people. Wow. So, wow. I mean, um, raise people as freelancers, yeah. raise people to, to, to sell for me as, I mean, agents, yeah. you know, all over the world, wow. having people. So, it comes to not being greedy also. Yeah. Now, I mean, little is much when God is in it. Mm. So, you, you sell for me, mm. you can hand this much. Mm. You sell for me, you can hand this so much. So, you raised a whole lot of other a- agents, agents under you. Under me, yes. W- that you guys were sharing commission yes. together. And it has worked. And in how many and years did you do 1.5 billion? Mm-hmm. I mean, in less than a decade. That's wow. uh, less than a decade. And wow. I'm, I'm over a decade in the industry. In the industry. By wow. You know a little about yeah. me. I mean, we, I mean, we grew up together. For, for many years. <laughs> that when I go anywhere, I am yeah. being deliberate and yeah. connecting with people. True. So you can't be a realtor and be frowning faces yeah. around. That's you can't true. make it. <laughs> <laughs> so it is losing up that leads to opening up. Yeah. 
So lose up to open to, to up. Open up. <laughs> so so when you lose it up, yeah. then they open up to you. Oh, I mean, what, what what do you think about uh, investing in so so area? Wow. Okay. Now, not even most times being selfless. Mm. Not even thinking about I mean my own products alone. Yeah. Now I begin to talk about if you invest in this other place, yeah. it's not a bad idea. Yeah. I mean you can do this with them. You can do that with them. Now yeah. some of them tend to I mean to push you forward mm. to know mm. whether you be biased yeah. or you it's just all about you. Yes. But the moment they see that you are sincere, yeah. because Dale Kennedy said something. Mm. He said, he said, the best way to yeah. succeed mm. is to know, to, to allow people to know mm. that you are genuinely interested in, in them. them. True. G Text Homes, a subsidiary of G Text Global, brought to you by Stephen Akintayo, and is bringing you. Jasper Estate. It is located along the urban area of Ibeju Lake, Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> this is just luxury at the tip of your fingers with just 12 minutes drive from the Dlaka Pine Tropicana. It's 15 minutes from Dangote Refinery. And it's 5 minutes to Lekki Town. 2 minutes from Stone Beach Resort. It is just adjacent to the Dangote Jetty. And if you're one that likes to travel down memory lane and be in tune with the relics, a Wallow Museum is five minutes away. It is barely 11 minutes from Lekki Deep Sea Port. Pick up that phone, dial that number, send that WhatsApp message to the number on your screen and secure your slot today. Also available in Abuja and 20% discount also apply. GTEX Homes. We don't just sell properties. We help you build your future. I was somewhere some someday yeah. and I saw um, a particular Bentley of um, 1970 hey, yeah. the tires have been deflated <laughs> and, and you know it, it, it's not moving and so on yeah. and so forth. And yeah. the thing is I just I snapped it and I said, What? That's the same time the owner of this vehicle yeah. bought it. Yeah. Someone actually bought a piece of land somewhere. Yeah and side by side you cannot put them together mm. Mm. now i took a picture of it mm. i was going to do a write-up on it wow. and so when the uh, the the, the b2 challenge came yes. incidentally <laughs> it's the same b yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so i i said what yeah. that's sincerely as a realtor yes. let me come to back to the question yes as a realtor the, the truth is your testimony is incomplete mm. when you are not a part of what you are selling mm, true <laughs> how do you tell yourself yeah. and tell the world yeah. that this we we, we okay like we tell your children like a signage pointing to a place that you will never be moving yeah so how would you tell your children in the nearest future yeah we sold this estate yes. all these houses you are seeing in here yes we sold it mm. and your children will ask you politely so dad where is our own house in here? Mm. And you'd be like, actually, we sold it very well. <laughs> we sold it very well. And they'd be like, no, this must not be a good farm. Mm. So, mm. consciously, I made it a point of duty. Yes. I made up my mind. Yes. And I said, me, every estate you do, mm. you must own from it. Wow. You must buy from it. Wow. So, when people tell me, I mean, when we have reasons to take people on inspection and yeah. they tell me that oh this place is say sir you know for your information i am also an, um, investor, an investor in this here. property even way back from the time i was working with uh, my, my 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 mentor in yeah. real estate yeah. i mean i've been investing in every estate that he puts up wow. just a few of them which i couldn't afford while yeah. working with him yeah. were the only ones i didn't invest in wow so and confidently if i want to get i don't need to introduce yeah. myself at that I, I'm a former staff in this yeah. company that did sure. this. I am a landlord here. Yeah. Yeah. This <laughs> is My guest is a childhood friend. Um, you know, we met on campus in the university, and God has been faithful. He's the MD CEO of Tromval Investment Limited. His name is Adeni Yade Yemi. 
and um, his story is that of real grass to grace i want you to you know give us some background of you know where you started from yes you know what one thing that amazes me sir yeah i mean um is that there's no way i could actually talk successfully about where i'm coming from uh, without bringing god into this mm. discussion mm. because there's nothing about me mm. when we take the g factor away mm. because um the moment you remove G from grace, mm. the rest is geopology. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like so, that. <laughs> geopology. It's geopology. <laughs> so, and that is a cause that will never end. <laughs> Just be on the treadmill, running without making motion. Mm. So, what has worked for me yeah. has been God. That I wouldn't take away. Powerful. And sir, Powerful. I must tell you that it's such a great thing of honor and joy, delight for me, mm. that we are sitting mm. in the Rolls Royce, mm. charting on investments, yeah. right, taking a ride on some of the places we have trekked before. Yeah, that's true. It's so emotional for me. Yeah. Because some that of the places have trekked that we have trekked before. Yes, sir. We. That we have no, uh, you know. Amen. <laughs> no, you know. That we have that trekked. That we have trekked before. That's true. So, one message that must be out of this discussion yeah. is yeah. the fact that yeah. that you are trekking today mm. does not mean that your story will change tomorrow preach it from a very polygamous home wow with four wives my mother being the last wife wow my father died while i was i mean a, a teenager wow and um i mean this year makes it 31 years that i lost my father wow you know wow. And so we were left wow. in the hands of god to survive wow that's I mean, we either make it or make it. No option. Wow. We either make it. So, in this same Lagos, at the time I was a organizer, at the wow. time I was a conductor. Wow. In the same Lagos, I remember today that, okay, at the time I actually did a lesson teacher to many children. <laughs> at the time I was. Um, I was um, um, I was washing clothes for people and doing many jobs for people wow. just to survive. Actually, wow. some of the people that I was going to the houses, they're just getting to know recently that I was actually shuttling many places. They wow. thought I was only coming to the house. <laughs> <laughs> I do everything like I don't have option. Wow. So I either succeed. Look, look Success at the, is it's, not an option. It's not, it's not, the it's only not option. an option. It's the only option, sir. Mm -hmm. You remember at the time I was telling you that at the time when I worked in an organization, yeah. my last company, yeah. uh, before God set us up, yeah. that I was earning 15000 when I joined the company. True. And, and I would pay 5215 were... Yes. Remaining thirteen five. Yes. And you're investing 12500 12, for your own landed property. For my own property. landed property that I bought in the company. Delayed gratification. Yes, sir. Twelve five. We will go back. This generation doesn't know anything. Oh, my right. God. Sir. When I see people today, so when I see some people, yeah. when I when they say that ah this country is hard, it has been hard since. <laughs> do you think do it's, been say, for you? it's been hard it's since day one. It's not because of you. Mm. The way it is hard, that's yeah. how MK will make his money. Hey. The way it is hard, that Gwete made his made money. His own. The way it's hard, let me fulfill me or tell me. Even the way it's hard, yeah. some of these guys who are in the music industry, they are still making their yeah. money. True. Whether the contemporary True. or secular or gospel, True. they're still making their money, and it's still hard. Yes. And but yet we still keep saying that we will not experience the hardness. Mm. Now, what is it that worked for me, mm. sir? Part of it is what mm. you just mentioned: mm. learning to delay your gratification. Mm. It's not just all about you; mm. it's about the future. Mm. Hello guys, welcome to Burial 2. Last year we launched Burial 1 and in 6 months we were sold out here at Eleko. And now we are in Burial 2 and Burial 2 is juicier and better. Why? It has an approved gazette. So it has a government title. Very good document. And guess how much we are selling? We are selling for 15 million. You qualify me to be able to pay just 10 million if you pay right now. And this slot is just 10 slots for you to pay 10 million. Once 10 slots is gone, bye. Yes, it has water, but we're creating roads. We are fencing around. We're some feeling for everybody in phase two. You want to take advantage of this. 
and invest today so that you can smile tomorrow. I love you and I'm Steven Akintayo. GTEx Homes. We don't just sell properties. We help you build your future. You know, I was telling you something about um, um, a number of, uh, a, a particular thesis that was mm. carried out mm. in one of the prestigious um, institutions mm. in this country. I won't mention the name of the school. Yeah. Now, um, and it was a thesis that was written for seven good years. Yeah. And it was showing the comparison between um, house owners and people who were tenants. Mm in that school mm. and it was between the teaching staff and the non-teaching staff yeah that was what the thesis was centered around mm. and it was discovered at the outcome of the thesis when it was i mean released yeah after seven years yeah. that there were some i mean 70 percent of the population yeah. of those who are house owners yeah 70 percent of the hundred percent who were staff yeah there were actually um people who were um semi unskilled laborers wow. and semi skilled laborers wow. but i mean to use that word yeah. i mean to say i mean some of the unskilled yeah. like the drivers yeah. the um the cleaners, uh, cleaners yeah. the office the assistants janitors, yeah. the office assistants they were the house owners wow. they discovered that and out the of the doctors remedy, and professors didn't the have doctors, property professor, many of just a mind in decimal percentage of them wow. out of the 30 percent were the ones that own wow. now it will amaze you to know that there were even cooperatives that these non-teaching staffs were involved in wow. and they were collecting money yes. when they have they call it a job yes they were contributing yeah. and some of them while somebody is saying that oh we, we, you tell them oh come and buy you could do say me me god forbid god forbid you could do yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything in there like five million naira? Yeah. <laughs> so the first question I will ask is: Is it is it an agency that you pay on the rent, or what? Five million for what exactly? You say no, I want to buy a property like in Ikoi, Ikoi. <laughs> now, in fact, there was even a particular case of a particular guy yeah. who, um, when they um, released um, the professor. Mm. After his retirement, yeah. and he was told to Natal, so, so, he was debugged so. for six months yes. to still stay back in the uh, staff quarters. Staff quarters. Yeah. So, having they have the permitted at the end of six months, so every of the places where he could get a house to rent, yeah. um, he couldn't afford it. Wow. I haven't worked for many years. Wow. He couldn't afford it. Now, eventually, they got a place for him in Kitsu. Oh, uh, so, yeah. and they said that the landlord of the property insisted that he must see whoever is going to be the tenants wow. of the house. Wow. So they arranged for a meeting, and where's the landlord? He happened to be one of his former drivers. Oh Lord! Yes, sir. Wow. One of his former drivers eventually became his landlord. And he said he called his name like one one Muslim name, like ah. The landlord of this house is the person I want to see. And I say, eh, you know, go up, go up, go up me. Landlord, I'm very gitche. What? Come, call me the landlord. Say, sir, by the grace of God, this house belongs to me. Wow. Yes, sir. But when that guy was there, he was humble enough hmm. to say, even though I may not be able to live in a corner yeah. for now. Let me be buying land in K2. Let me buy in K2. And start Let building in small And that K2 that time was a bush. It was a bush. Yes, Thick sir. forest. Yes, sir. So he bought there. He now eventually turned out to be the landlord of his former boss. Wow. So, I mean, that alone, I mean, could, is, is good enough to explain. Hmm. Don't wait to buy land. Buy land and buy wait. Buy land and wait. I mean, by the grace of God, our first child is ten was ten years um, last April. Yeah. That land I bought hmm. when they were deducting twelve five from my yes. salary, yeah. I bought in her name. Wow. Before she was born. Wow. What's the value now? Uh, I, 
I think I bought that land uh, at the end of a day for two seventy-five thousand. Yeah. After all the deduction. Yes. That one twelve five was like twelve point five million. <laughs> I was okay. You are earning fifteen thousand. They moved twelve point five. Uh, twelve thousand five hundred. That was a lot. It was like twelve point five million at <laughs> that time. Um, today, at least that place is not valued for less than um, about um, fifteen million. Yeah. Wow. That you bought two, 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 I bought two, two, two fifty-five thousand. Two seventy-five thousand naira. Two seventy-five thousand. Fifteen because, million. Yes, because um, it was it was subsidized for all yeah the staff. for the staffs. Yes. And wow. Some of my, my colleagues. Didn't yeah. Buy they they won't buy. It. I mean, they'll yeah. be like, who knows? Will this thing yes. appreciate? Yes. Well, you know, some of them will probably even be convinced that you people were duping people. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe by the virtue yeah. of my closest yeah. to the energy yeah. director, yeah. they say that they are connected yeah. together. Yeah. together. Yeah. 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 Well, we just see the bush, they say that. So they say, we are just coming, but we need a job. <laughs> so I had to work there. People now live in that estate, wow. one of those estates. Wow. I mean, other one, I also started by, I remember one particular incident when one of my uh, superior mm. was saying that they can't sell one of the other property I wanted to buy for me. They can't sell it for that rate. Mm. That the price had gone up. Yeah. And immediately my eyes changed. And I told him, I said, do you know what I go through it for this company? <laughs> you can't give me the old rates. <laughs> and the MD immediately intervened and said, you know what? We'll give me for that. Give it to me for that. Ah, would you pass on the yeah. mom? I would never forget that saying. Uh, yeah. That property is still there today. Wow. GTEx Home is a brand with vision of having the largest green and smart estate with innovation and technology. The vision has given birth to Jasper Gardenia along the coastline of Ibejuleki, Lagos. The first green and smart affordable estate. Now, Jasper Estate is just 10 minutes away from Dangote Refinery and is just opposite the Lekki Golf Course. And guess what? The title is Gizet. Now, with 17 million naira, you can get a property here. Yes. And you can also make a down payment of 5 million naira. And you can choose not to pay it at one go. There is a stretch of 24 months payment. So what that means is that you have two years to pay for the property. So it is pertinent. You are part of what is going on here because here, my friend, is the future. GTEx Homes. We don't just sell properties. We help you build your future. We we'll have a gift for you. Uh -oh. Only give all our guests uh -oh. some amazing gifts. Oh my God. But for me, the most remarkable of all gifts is the books we give our guests. I've written 35 books and this is one wow. of them. Wow. Survival awesome. Instinct. Awesome. You know, Survival Instinct wow. is... Um, mm. Chronicles love the tough journey, you know, I've been to in business and that of other great people. Wow. Thank you, sir. And this is for you. Wow. Thank you, sir. We also have oh. this also for you. Uh -uh. You need a PA to help you carry Oh, my this. God. All this Ghana <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, I see my king to answer you. Uh, all this Ghana Oh, my God. Thank you. God bless you, sir. You're God welcome. Bless Stephen Akintaro, God you, bless G Texts, Thank God you, bless sir. all of the organizations that yeah. are under your able watch. Thank you, God sir. bless you, sir. I Thank you so, so much. Greater heights in Amen. Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Guys, it's been a great show. You do not want to miss the next episode of this show. Until next time, I love you. I'm Stephen Akita, Africa's most sought after investment coach and Australian entrepreneur. And of course, I love you.